Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do a quick little update. Um, so of course, I'm sitting in the car as usual with the baby in the back seat. I'm, <clears throat> I'm just kind of like recovering because we had um, we had the cold, and then I got a sinus infection from the cold. And then I had JBF this week. So this week I've been busy with that. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick little update on my sales with JBF so far. Um, I think I brought like around, oh my God, I'm losing so much hair. I brought around, I want to say like around like, probably around like 450 items. I woke up my little gremlin um so it was a lot of the like big baby stuff like the um the baby bouncer the bassinet uh swing thing that I had mm, tons of things like all basically all the big baby gear except for high chair and my strollers I did try to sell a, one of my strollers, but I guess there was something on it that I didn't notice because I saw it in the reject room. So I want to tell you the secret to making the most money and getting the, select, the best selection at these sales is to work the sale and work the highest number of hours that you can because that means that you can shop the earliest so it does get a little bit overwhelming though like like there was so much stuff i want to say on monday and tuesday like even when i went shopping on tuesday like i didn't even i only went to the clothing section and the shoes because there's just so, like, in the first couple of days, there's so much stuff until it gets, like, spaced out a little. Um, so, last time I did a 16-hour shift, but this time, um, you could only do a 12-hour shift, so I did a 12-hour shift. So, I worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yesterday, I did a little bit of cashiering, and then I also was working on, like, um, returned items. So, there were, you know, a lot of things that need to go back. Um, even, like, yesterday when I was shopping after, I really quickly wanted to get, like, Amaya some PJs and stuff that I, did, I totally forgot to get the other day. <clears throat> on, I guess on Tuesday night when I shopped. So, sorry, I'm trying to, like, hold the phone because my, my phone anchor whatever the heck it is that holds the phone it keeps falling off the car so i haven't put it back on so i as of last night around 10 i was up to like 600 in sales which is amazing considering it's not even the first you know like the first day of <clears throat> the public sale yet i wonder if i have any coffee left So that, that's awesome. I did see, I didn't see my wagon sold, but I didn't see it yesterday. So I don't know if somebody was like using it last night, like walking around with it or something. I don't know. But I had somebody come up to me during drop off and ask me if I wanted to sell them it. And I was like, well, I posted about it in the group, so... Like, they know I'm selling it, like, but, like, I guess those huge items, the big ticket items, are the first things to go, so, especially, like, if you're gonna have a baby, and you know that you wanna get, like, first dibs on all the big, huge baby items, like, the bouncers and everything, like, it was significantly, um, less items, even last night, like, when I went to work last night, I, I worked from, like, 1 to, five, like, 1.40 to 5.40 because I got there a little late. 
but so that was like the prime I would say like the prime shopping time for I want to say pregnant ladies and stuff I don't really pay attention to the other shopping times because I've done this not so long but like long enough that <clears throat> sorry I know that I want to get in get my stuff and go and I kind of know that I just need to pay attention to when my appointments are and honestly I can't even keep it together to keep my appointments straight because <clears throat> I had to screenshot and keep it in my phone like four times so I had to like favorite it and circle the time frames and all that but um yeah so so far I have 600 items I believe they're opening at nine so I haven't checked I don't think I've checked it yet this morning to see if maybe there were some things that went in <clears throat> maybe the line was long um they had a new layout too so like it took me a really long time to put my stuff out like I want to say like four hours because I'm just like the worst person with this stuff like I never I always take forever with putting stuff out but also I had like 400 items and a lot of them were big ticket items I didn't want to put the tickets on before we got there because I didn't know if like we were going to be driving the truck with the <clears throat> with it covered up or not or what the deal was so I did like half my big ticket items and then I stopped doing the tickets putting the tickets on them because I'm like uh oh my god what if they fall off and then I get there and I have no ticket so yeah um and I wanted to post like what I bought but honestly last night I brought the stuff inside that I got last night Sorry, I'm so tired. She's getting teeth and, like, just sleeping terribly. But, I, um, okay, like, I got, oh, I, so usually, like, I'll put all my clothes out on the couch, but, like, my mom was here and she just had surgery on, she had, like, a cyst or something on her arm that she had removed, and it's, like, in her elbow crease, I guess that you would call it that. So she was in a lot of pain yesterday, and so I just got home, and I just didn't even take a picture the first night, and I didn't take a picture yesterday. So most of my son's clothes are now sitting on top of the washer to get washed, so I probably won't be taking a picture, but I did really well. Like, I think I probably spent, so I spent, I think, like, last night... I think I spent like 120 and then I spent like 140 the other day so with the amount of stuff that I bought though like it's like insane and the highest I want to say the highest priced receipt that I had yesterday was less than 600 but it was like definitely over like five I want to say it was like 520 something so those people got so much like they got a baby like almost like a whole baby wardrobe for our little baby boy and then the other girl she was cracking me up it was like she was like my soul sister <laughs> like do you ever meet people and they're like really a lot like you um so she like had the same taste as me and everything like and she's like going through her stuff and saying oh my god my husband's gonna you know, like, my husband's gonna kill me, like, obviously, that's not true, so it's, like, a form of speech, but, you know, on Facebook, you got censored for saying stuff like that, so just wanted to make sure I put that out there. I don't know if, I don't think YouTube is as crazy as Facebook is with the censorship, um, but, like, so annoying. I've gotten, like, Facebook jail a bunch of times because I say stuff like that all the time, so anyway, this girl, <laughs> this girl would like hold things up and be like, what do you think? Is this worth $5? And so then I'd be like, um, well, let's see. I'm like, um, okay, so this is really cute, but you have like five of the same things like this. Like she actually bought, I asked her at first, do you have twins? Because she had 
multiples of the same item. So that was cracking me up. I mean, I I definitely have multiples of same items, but it's not stuff I bought. It's stuff that I've been given, like hand-me-downs and things like that. So this sale runs today, tomorrow, and I want to say Saturday morning is like 50% off. Um, but again, like I don't pay attention because I'm only shopping on my times and I was going to go Friday for the early pre-sale, but I got everything else that I need today. So I really don't want to go back because I feel like I'm just going to spend money that like I don't need to spend. And 50% <clears throat> off day is great for things like if you need to buy shoes or not shoes, like accessories, like socks. You need to buy socks for your kids, which like my kids need, but I don't feel like going and I don't feel like dealing with it. I'm looking through the basket. Oh, so tired. Like if my mom wasn't in pain last night and had to go, I probably would have, you know, gotten that stuff. But like honestly, Amaya has socks. She probably won't even wear socks in the summer because she doesn't even like to wear socks now in the winter um so yeah i'm really pumped i think i had like 150 items sold last night is this my friend probably texting me now no it's my mom so i think i had like 150 items sold last night and i was already at 600 so the one the the i think the highest pricing i had was the wagon so I had a wagon, a little tykes wagon, I think it is, that I had bought from another mom around the corner where I live. And I bought it with, like, all intentions of, like, bringing the kids to the parades and stuff and, like, going down to the park when my town has, like, the little carnivals and stuff. But, like, I feel like I have only used dollars for that stuff like I actually I'm trying to see what is the glare on my glasses is it the glare from the phone I don't know I don't look like SHIT and my lips look gross like my eyes look terrible but I am tired and the baby's nurse uh, been nursing I've not been able to wean her still because she you know, she's getting teeth and I don't want to be cruel because like, well, I just say since I worked like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she's really only nursed like three times a day. So I'm kind of like doing it slowly, but I want to be done because like, I just want to be able to take like, I don't know, cold medicine if I need it besides Robitussin, which is so gross. Um, but anyway, my mom sent me a text, so I'm gonna check that, make sure she's okay, and then maybe by then my little nugget will be awake. She's still sleeping back there. You can't see her, but, um, I also will do, like, a screenshot of the post. I mean, a screenshot of my, my items that I've sold, so you can kind of see... One thing, like, I would definitely recommend if you're interested in selling at these things is to, like, don't try to think you're going to pull one over on a shopper. Like, we're all moms or, you know, aunties or grandmas or dads or whoever is shopping for these children. And, like, we know how to get a good deal. Like, if you're going to a consignment sale, like, you know how to get a good deal and shop in the first place. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, there was someone that was, like, <clears throat> an obvious reseller, Rese reseller, Re whatever, like, they would go to, like, the Carter's clearance racks or discount, I, I'm assuming they probably went to the Carter's outlet and then bought things and then they're marking them up, like, you're not, like, moms are not stupid, <laughs> like, and honestly, like, you're just making more work for yourself. 
like there were jeans marked $11. Like, I'm not going to spend that on jeans. Like, I don't even care if they're Oshkosh or whatever brand they are. Like, I know that I can buy them cheaper. So, why would I buy them at a consignment sale? So expensive. My kind of rule of thumb with pricing is, like, I follow the one-third rule. They tell you to do price at one-third of retail. So, if you... A lot of Google, um, I do a lot of Googling and another thing I did a lot this year was like <clears throat> image searching on, on Facebook. If I can, if I couldn't figure out what the item was, uh, it's kind of like hit or miss with that because, um, sometimes face, uh, I can't even think of Sometimes Amazon will bring up like random, random stuff that looks kind of like what the item that you have is, but it's not actually the item. So, sorry. So, I highly recommend watching Tracy's videos. I think that's her name. With JBF down closer to Philly. Um, and I watched some of Kendra's videos. So... I sell at Kendra's and Barb's sales, um, the Allentown one, it just won like number nine, I want to say in the nation for pop-up consignments. So that's really awesome. I know a lot of people say like the Quaker town one is nicer. I wouldn't say nicer though, because I don't know. I haven't been there. I think that people just price their items lower I feel like we have a lot of new people this year and like last year and I want to say like when my son was 2T that that time I remember going and being like I am not gonna pay five dollars for a freaking pair of mesh shorts like are you kidding me right now and that was kind of the sentiment that a lot of the moms and me were doing especially like the moms that had I was working with that had consigned the um like there was the verbal like like the sigh kind of like tisk like sucking your teeth kind of reaction because there was you know there were a lot of people that overpriced things I think a lot of people think like if you price high and then it will get sold on discount day but that's not always like I kind of would rather sell my thing at full price and then be done, like, so there's, like, less selection. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'd rather my things sell on full price days than sell at discounts and then have stuff left over because, like, I want it out of my house. Now, I'm also doing the Pocono sale, and they just started, I want to say last year it was their first one. So I believe that this is their second sale. I'm not sure if it's second or third. But I am going to be selling whatever I don't sell at this sale. At the Pocono sale. And that one's actually closer to me. I mean, they're still both kind of like a half hour away. But that one's definitely closer. Oh, sorry, I'm so exhausted. I feel like the tiredness from the last three days just caught up with me so I definitely price things super low especially um girl items because I feel like there's just so much stuff for girls and like for example the person that had all these tags I remember going through so I worked inspection and I was actually in the size that Amaya's in now. So I was in like 12 to 18 months. And like sometimes people just put stuff out that's not even like season in season. Like obviously some people didn't watch the video because like I definitely pulled a ton of long sleeve items and a ton of things that were like fleece. And like they specifically said like no fleece and limited long sleeves like there was like a list of acceptable things that were long sleeve items um so I pulled a bunch of that stuff and then I also pulled a bunch of 
just like nasty looking things like I can't even believe people want to try to sell these things like I think my worst item was probably nicer than their the items that I saw um but I definitely pulled a bunch of things too that were stained but I kind of give people the benefit of the doubt with the stains like sometimes you don't see it like I have really good lighting in my living room because we have the it's not a bay window but it's like a bay window so it's like very what the heck happened here AF tracking lot 